are the Visa Championships on NBC Sports, and our coverage is brought to you in part by Visa. Five Visa Championships in gymnastics at Conseco Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. Only one rotation done, but already this event is playing its mind games as the three-year process toward the next Olympics begins. For Alicia Sacramoni, a veteran, she's already been shaken by falling off the balance beam. And her coach has said to her, it's not okay, it's not okay, and now she must mentally recover for the rest of her performance tonight. Then there's Nastia Liukin in her first appearance at the senior level. We're wondering whether we're seeing the next queen of American gymnastics. She has successfully survived her brief experience with the vault and moves on to rotation two. So, Tim Daggett and Elfie Schlegel, here we are a year after Athens, and all the stars that won the silver medal for the United States are not here, and they all have reasons why, but the question is, is that it? Are we done seeing them or not? Well, historically, if you look at after an Olympic Games, you see a lot of the athletes move on. You have to remember, so much goes into getting to the Olympic Games, the sacrifice, the discipline. They're tired after it's all over, and then you have the opportunities that someone like Carly Patterson has, so it's very, very difficult. I know personally, trying to go to a second Olympic the game's hardest thing I ever tried to do. Really? Well, Elfie, 2005 is to Beijing and 2008, what 2001 mm -hmm. was to Athens. We thought it would be interesting to look back at the landscape in USA Gymnastics back in 2001, and you can see what a long, difficult process this is. Mohini Bardwaj is the mm -hmm. only one who actively participated. Tasha Schweikert was an alternate, but all the other names faded away for a variety of reasons. Well, I think, Al, in this immediate group that we're seeing right now, Nastia Liukin, we've already said it, she is for real, and in my mind, She's already there. And in this group, we may very well see a few others that will join Nastia. But I think realistically, the talent is going to come from the junior ranks. So it would be just as Carly Patterson did it. Just as Carly did in 2001. Now to the second rotation, Yana Beeger, first after the first rotation. Now on course, And really, Al, that's really, it's not a, a, an unreasonable place for her to be. She is very good on balance beam, very good on this event. You're going to see four extremely difficult tumbling passes. There's Mom right there. Unbelievably strong life. Yeah, obviously tumbling is her forte and one area where she will improve down the road is in the choreography. They know that. They know she needs to work on it. She's still very young. And this is about Brianna Beeger and for Nastia Liukin going to the next level now from junior to senior, continuing to show improvement and hopefully impressing Marta Caroli and everybody else to get a world championships appearance later on this year. No question about that. And no question, she gets this triple full around. Like Elfie said, she can jump. But the 9166, that's actually a low score for her. She had to squat down on a couple of those landings. And as Elfie said, she needs to improve on what this young lady right here does so well. The overall artistry and the ballet aspects of a floor exercise routine. She has had an unbelievable, already at her young age, career on vault. And her resume is something to look at. First, 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 first. And this is just, this takes your breath away, to be perfectly honest. The long lines, and it's not just that she does super hard stuff. It's that she does it flawlessly, 
Now watch the leg. She never breaks form. Her handstand positions are right on top of the bar. Very reminiscent, as Tim has said before, of the Chinese athletes. And all this difficulty on one bar. It's incredible work. Now she'll fly high. This is her release skill. It's great. She, she truly is phenomenal on this event. Flies from that high bar. She doesn't just transition from one to the other. It's, it's like, wow, look at the height and how effortless. Yeah, you don't get you don't get much better than that at all, I gotta tell you. You know, the fans here at Conseco Fieldhouse holding up their tens, and that was not perfect. Darn good. And with the new scoring gymnastics, we may never see a ten again. Watch how beautiful, and she should get a ten for a skill like this. Watch this, a full spin on one arm, drops it down by her body, makes it a little more difficult. And Tim, let's point out all this combination work. That's what makes her bar routine so difficult, are the combinations. Setting up here for her dismount, double layout, stretched out body position, looking for that perfect landing. Tiny, tiny hop. Looking for a big score to move up in the standings. Going to get a big score, for sure. And it is the highest we've seen so far, 975. Oh, the game? The smiling sportsman. Didn't he visit you in the hospital when you got injured in 87? He did. I'll never forget it. And now he's got a prodigy on his hand. More from Indianapolis after this. Back in Indianapolis, we're going to see a little bit now about what's going inside the head of Alicia Sacramoni. Tied for 10th after the first rotation. She fell off the beam. Looked like she was a bit of an emotional mess there for a while, and now she's got to get herself refocused. And I would think, Elfie, this is a good event for her to get refocused. No question. Alicia is known for her power in tumbling. She's explosive. And one thing that I like about her on-floor exercise is she doesn't hold back. Should put Alicia Sacramoni back into the mix. That was phenomenal. Every aspect of it, hugely powerful tumbling, great presentation, artistry. That was great. You know, she told us last year in preparation to try to make that Olympic team. She had worked so hard. Everything was leading up for it. She got there, and then she just bombed it. Had to take some time off. Got together with her coaches, her parents, and she decided that she wasn't done. She was going to give it one more run. Now he's coaching for night two. He's back up there on floor exercise, but that's a big score, 9-7-3-3. Three, three. 